Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show how to do this super easy mirrored text effect in HitFilm Express. So this effect is actually super easy to do. Um, and it looks very three-dimensional, but actually it's not. I'm going to start by creating a new composite shot, clicking OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a new text layer by clicking New Layer and Text, and then I will just uh, type in my word. In this case, I will use the word mirror, but you can use any word, and I will just change that, and I'm going to go with a um, font that works well, and I'm going to use an o Ocean Rush demo. Now, notice that that sort of dropped uh, it down into the center of it, which is a little bit unusual, but you can change this baseline shift to make it happen. Notice that the uh, base of it is dead center in the middle, and that's sort of what I want, so that's the good news. Uh, and I'm just going to sort of place it here and then when i'm happy with that i'm going to right click and make it into its own composite shot clicking okay that way if i want i can go back in and change this and it will change everything i don't have to go back in and change everything so that's the main text okay and i'm just going to call it text here and then if i uh duplicate it i can either right click and make or sorry, uh, duplicate, or I can use the hotkey control D to create the second one. I will refer to this one as the mirrored text. And if I open up the transform properties under scale, I can unlink the scale from X to Y. And if I change the Y one to negative 100%, then I have a mirrored image of it, see? Uh, and this is this is what makes it super easy to do, right? So now if I go in and I change this one, it will change both of these, right? So the key, of course, is, is that you don't want it to be uh, a perfect mirror image, right? You want it to look a little bit different. So the first thing that I will do is selecting the rectangular mask tool. I will mask basically from just the top piece and then if i open up the shape i will say feather to the outside and then just open up the feather strength so that it is fairly solid of a of a mask here but then it sort of fades out as it goes down right uh, so there's your first thing that i that you want to do the easiest way to animate that is to actually animate that the the mask itself so for example if i come into one uh and then i open up the path or the position i'm going to use the position uh and then you know move forward a few seconds um oh actually what i want is that to be there and then if i back up i can just slide this up right so that way the mirror sort of reveals itself over that time right now you might want to blur this out a little bit um i think using a um diffuse is the way to go um uh, but you can use any sort of a blurring effect uh that you like i personally like the diffuse on this rather than a regular blur um, you could use some sort of a zoom blur if you wanted it to or a radio blur if you wanted it to sort of be blurred further or more down underneath kind of a thing. But to me, that looks pretty good. And then the only other thing that I did was I'm adding a plain layer, clicking OK, putting it behind the uh, mirrored text effect. And then I will search for a gradient uh, fill or a color gradient, as it were. And then... If I open up the start and end points, I can go ahead and zero out the X positions of each of those. Uh, and then I can just sort of move those until I have sort of this, uh, almost looks like there's a, a ground that's being reflected on that. 
And so when you're done, you basically have this mirrored text effect. Like I said, you can change that text if you like. So if I go into the original text and select it and I use a different word, then when I come back out, I have a new uh, look to it, but the mirror and the text are still correct. So that makes it very procedural in nature. So pretty much that's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, do me a favor and leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Uh, if you like this kind of content, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell icon for notifications. Feel free to share it with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.